Hey guys, in this video, we're going to see how to manually install a game using Lutris. Say for example, you have a game folder or you have the setup files for the game. We're going to add this game to Lutris and we're going to see how to play a Windows game on Lutris. So if you don't know what Lutris is or maybe you've heard about it and you want to play your Windows game on Linux, first we're going to quickly set up Lutris and then we're going to go right ahead into today's video. So open your web browser, go to winehq.org and in the download page, you're going to want to click on your distribution of choice. I am on Pop! OS, which is based on Ubuntu, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Ubuntu. And then what you do is you open up your terminal. You put them side by side. So after you've put them side by side, the first thing you're going to want to do is copy paste some of these lines to your terminal. First is this one. We're going to go ahead and enable the 32-bit architecture. The second, we're going to paste these two lines separately. And then thirdly, what we're going to want to do is based on the distribution you have. So for example, I am running pop OS 21.04. So go ahead, copy this line and paste it over into your terminal. So to actually install wine, we have to run sudo apt install install recommends wine devel and you don't have to run the sudo apt update now the reason i recommend the development version over the other two is because it's a sweet balance between bleeding edge software and old stable software so this is going to take a little time but after you're done with this go over to download lutris it's it's like the first hit when you Google it. And again, choose your distribution of choice. So I am on Pop! OS, which is based on Ubuntu. So go ahead and enter these three lines. And you're going to have Lutris installed. Now, one thing to note is that you do not need to run a sudo apt update in this procedure, either on Wine or either while downloading Lutris, because it caused some problems for me, but even without that line in modern Linux distributions based off of Ubuntu, you actually don't need to run sudo apt update. So with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and launch Lutris. So first thing you're going to want to do is click on this download icon under runners. So click on this icon, which is manage versions of wine, click it. And it's going to give you a list of different wine installations. Now these are Lutris wine installations. Now, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and downloaded one of these. Downloading it is very simple. You just click on it and it'll download it for you. So once you've downloaded the Lutris version that you want to, for I will use Lutris FS Hack 6.21. Now, what is FS Hack? I will come back to that later. It is very important. So click on OK, get out of it. Now it's time for you to see where your game is located. So for example, I have my games under data and games, and let's say we're going to try to set up Tomb Raider Anniversary. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on this button, add game, as it mentions very clearly, I might add. You put the name of the game, so Tomb Raider Anniversary. Anniversary, I can't spell, sorry. Now, this is very important. Under runners, you have to select a runner from the list. Now, because Tomb Raider Anniversary is a Windows game. We're going to click on Wine, which it clearly mentions runs Windows games. Go ahead and click on that. Next up, we're going to go to Game Options. And now we have to click on Browse under Executable so that we can find the main exe file of the game. So I'm going to go ahead to Other Locations, Data, Games, Tomb Raider Anniversary, and all the way down to tra.exe. I'm going to click on OK, and it will open that up. Next up, we're going to go to Runner Options. Now, over here, you have to choose your Wine version. So by default, we downloaded Wine 6.21. 
if you followed all my steps correctly but then we also downloaded the lutris wine version now this is a special wine version which will help you make your games run better and smoother that is there is a higher and better chance of your games working in linux if you're using lutris wine so go ahead and choose that and when you come down you also have an option of enabling amd fidelity fx super resolution or fsr in short now as you can clearly see it says using fsr is meant to be for upscaling the game window to the native resolution say for example you have a 1440p monitor but your graphics card is weak enough so that you can only run your games at 1080p medium but you have a 1440p monitor right so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enable this option and then when you're in the game you're going to want to choose a resolution which is less than your monitor's native resolution. Once you do that, AMD FSR automatically kicks in, it upscales it for you, and 1080p to 1440p upscaling is going to look very sweet. Obviously, it won't be native 1440p, but I guess that you would be hard pressed to actually tell the difference once you're in the game and you're not pixel peeping all the time. But for this AMD FSR to actually work, you need a Lutris version with FS Hack because FS Hack is a version made by Glorious Eggroll, which includes the AMD FSR tidbits that are necessary to get FSR working. Now, after you've done all of this, you could head over to System Options. There are some options which you could mess around with but i usually don't because right now you don't need it and say for example you want to install your games to a different folder you could choose this now what we are doing right now is this tomb raider game is just a folder right this if i double click on this it'll launch the game in windows but let's say you have a setup file so the setup file wherever you point the setup file to be installed it's going to install it that's really self-explanatory. You also have show advanced options, but we're not going to go into that as this is meant to be a beginner focused video. Go ahead and hit save. And you're going to have Tomb Raider Anniversary. Now, one of the things with Lutris is that if you're adding games manually like this, you won't get the artwork. So what you could do is you go, you could go to Google Images, you could download a picture and you could set it up. It's very simple. You right click, go to configure double click and you can choose your image but we're not going to worry about that for now we're going to go ahead and launch our game now if you don't have wine mono installed which you probably won't if you install wine the way i showed you to it will prompt you to install wine mono and it will do it automatically for you so you don't really have to worry about it just click next 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 install and it'll do it for you now, I already set up Ori and the Blind Forest like that. Generally, whenever you're using a single version of Wine, so I used Ori with 6.21 FS Hack 2. So, unless you change the Wine version, I think you don't need to actually go ahead and install Wine Mono again. So, let's go ahead and click on Play. Let's see if it works. Okay, so first it's asking us for our graphics. So, yes. And Remember guys, I have a very weak computer, so I probably will be running it at 1024 by 768. Refresh rate, it's 60, contrast, brightness, okay. Uh, enable depth of field, enable reflections, enable water effects, shadows. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't want OBS to be overloaded. And we're going to go ahead and play the game. Let's see if it works. Yeah, that's that's a good sign. I hope OBS doesn't give me drop frames. We'll start with easy and let's start the game. Okay, so it runs fantastic. Now you have to forgive my computer for some of the performance issues, but as you can see, this demo worked perfectly. And 
with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to catch you next time. Peace.